Hello, it's Nick Bailey here and welcome to today's presentation. As you can see, the title of today's presentation is Enjoy Gluten Again. Five steps to eating what you want without pain and discomfort. So it's really great to have you here and you've probably been on some webinars that have lots of fluff and preamble and you're thinking, come on, get to the good stuff. Well, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to miss out all the fluff, all the preamble and get straight into it because I've got some fantastic information for you today. Now who is this presentation for? This presentation is for anyone that used to be able to tolerate gluten but can't anymore and if that's you and you now consume gluten whether on accident or on purpose and you get a negative reaction like fatigue, brain fog, headaches or migraine, stomach pain, diarrhea, anxiety, bloating, sinus problems, achy joints, irritability, vomiting or you just feel sick, itching or skin issues, depression, constipation, inflammation, sore eyes, sneezing. If any of that sounds like you and you want to tolerate gluten again so you avoid these horrible side effects, then you're in the right place. This presentation is for you. Okay, in the next 30 minutes or so, here's what I'm going to cover. How you can heal yourself so that you can tolerate gluten again. Why you can't tolerate gluten now when you could before and what to do so you don't make the same mistakes that caused the problem in the first place. The two main things causing you not to tolerate gluten and how to fix them. Discover how eating gluten free might be causing you more problems than good. Find out how you can't avoid gluten and so you need to set about fixing the problem. I'm going to explain all of this without you being confused not knowing where to begin and wondering whether you're doing it right. And here's my promise to you. On this webinar, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step strategy to heal yourself of gluten intolerance. Now this may seem like a crazy promise right now, but I've done it personally and I'm going to reveal how I did it and how you can do it too. But this is not a quick fix. This is not a miracle cure. And for this to work, you need to be committed to do what it takes to heal yourself. And what I've achieved personally with the advice I'm sharing with you today does not mean you'll get exactly the same results that I've got. You might do better or not so well as me. We're all different and so results will vary. But if you follow the advice I give you, then I guarantee that you will tolerate gluten better than you are now. Now before we get into all the good stuff, let me check in with you real quick because I want to see where you're at. Does this sound like you? Do you eat food and then get sick afterwards and think, it must have been gluten that did it? Do you struggle going out to eat and are very wary about what to eat in case you get glutened? Do you feel like people are judging you when you say you can't eat food with gluten in it? Do you often wonder what you're going to eat in case it has even the smallest amount of gluten in it. Are you sick and tired of having such a limited diet just to avoid one thing? Do you eat meals that are supposedly gluten free and yet you still feel sick afterwards? And are you secretly terrified that your gluten intolerance is going to lead to other health problems that will cause you to die before your time? If any of that sounds like you then I have good news. None of those things are the real problem. Those are just symptoms. The reason you're suffering from gluten intolerance is because you haven't made what I call other shifts. And I'm going to talk about what those are in just a second. But know this right now. Once you make the shifts, you'll have complete control of helping your body to heal so you can tolerate gluten again. You'll be able to eat more variety of foods, be healthier, live longer, enjoy going out more without the fear that you'll get sick. You'll realize that this gluten intolerance phase was just a mirror and insight into something not working right in your body. And once fixed, you can once again live your life to the full without getting sick from food. Your body will be healthier so it will ward off viruses, flu, sickness because your immune system will be performing better. And you'll have the best chance of living a longer, healthier life so you see your kids and grandkids growing up. You'll not be worried about food all the time and experience freedom to eat without fear. And you'll be able to tell people 
you healed yourself of gluten intolerance. How cool is that going to be? Okay, who am I? Well, my name is Nick Bailey. I live in New Zealand, which is why some of you may think, well, he has a bit of an accent. I'm married, I have four children, and I accidentally found out that I was gluten intolerant in 2017. You see, at that time, I was doing a very strict diet to try and improve my health, and this diet just happened to exclude wheat. After a couple of weeks of this diet, I wanted a treat, so I had butter chicken and some naan bread. And almost immediately after eating some naan bread, my eyes started watering, I was sneezing, and the next day, it was like I'd run a marathon. I was so sore, I had achy muscles, I had a bad headache, and I was so, so tired. I had a sore stomach, I had brain fog, I had achy joints, a headache, anxiety, irritability, bloating, sinus problems, itching, you name it, I had it, and these symptoms lasted about five to six days, it was just horrible. And so from that point on, I avoided gluten as much as I possibly could, and I felt great to start with. And then as time went on, I seemed to become less and less tolerant to any gluten. Even the smallest amount, I would become sick. And then it started with dairy as well. But then, something happened that completely changed everything. I'll reveal what that was in a second, but as a result of all of this and my ongoing health issues, I was diagnosed as having chronic fatigue syndrome and hay fever all year round. And it's because of these things I've become a certified nutritionist and a certified herbalist. And I've used that knowledge to heal myself of gluten intolerance. And now I'm on a mission to help others just like you do the same. Because I know how horrible it is to be gluten. And live your life in fear of the next time it may happen. Just waiting for that pain. Now luckily for me, I was in a health food shop one day in 2018. And I overheard the lady behind the counter talking to another customer saying... You can heal yourself of food intolerances. There was a trigger for me and that changed everything in my life because instead of just following the conventional wisdom of avoiding gluten, I turned it around and I committed to find what I needed to do to cure myself of gluten intolerance. And I discovered there are five key shifts people need to make to heal themselves of gluten intolerance. So they can not only be healthier, but live a longer, more enjoyable life. And I'm going to walk you through all five of them on this session. So let's get into it. Shift number one. Don't just avoid gluten. Focus on healing yourself. When I first discovered I was gluten intolerant, I just did what most of us do. Research for ways to avoid gluten. I bought gluten-free food to replace the bad stuff I was eating with even more bad stuff that was very high in sugar and made my gluten intolerance worse, as you'll soon discover. I looked for gluten-free recipes. I bought gluten-free recipe books, and the list goes on. And if you went to a doctor saying you feel bad after eating gluten, they would, they would probably A, question whether that's actually true, and B, tell you just to avoid it because there is no pill they can prescribe to cure it. But you need to make a stand right here, right now, and not settle for avoiding gluten, because you can't. It's practically impossible to avoid gluten. And here's a study to back that up. It was done on celiac patients, and it was found it was impossible for them to avoid gluten, no matter how careful they were. So instead of doing everything you can to avoid it, you need to make a shift and accept that sometimes you will consume gluten and you need to turn to healing yourself so you can tolerate it when you do have it. This is a big shift and puts you back in control. Instead of being helpless, you are now setting about healing yourself so you can tolerate gluten again. This is a huge shift from victim to a healing mindset. And here's the second very important shift you need to make. Shift number two, gluten is not the problem. When you first find out that you can't tolerate gluten, you look at gluten as enemy, right? But actually, it's a blessing in disguise. You see, millions and millions of people around the world can tolerate gluten without any problems. So what's the difference between them and you? Simple. Their digestive system can tolerate gluten and yours can't. 
your ability or lack thereof to tolerate gluten would have been building for a very long time. It did not happen overnight. And your ability not to handle gluten took time to develop. But now you're aware of it. It should be looked on as a great thing. Because now you have the chance to heal your digestive system so you can tolerate gluten again and make yourself healthier. See, this is a mirror to yourself and it's showing you that you have a problem with your digestive system that needs fixing. Gluten is not the problem. It's the highlighter that's showing you this problem exists and it could lead on to further problems with other foods and other parts of your body if you don't set about fixing it. And that leads nicely on to the third shift that you need to make. Shift number three, take ownership. You caused this, but you can fix it. Now this may be a hard pill to swallow, it was for me, but you would have done things in your life or had things happen to you that cause your gluten intolerance. For example, here's some things that can cause gluten intolerance. High stress, high sugar carb diet, excessive alcohol, medications like broad spectrum antibiotics, birth control pills, etc. For myself, I had lots of stress as a teenager. When my parents divorced and then on top of that I had a high sugar carb diet, excessive alcohol intake and took medications for stomach ulcers. All of this contributed to me having candida overgrowth. Here are the symptoms of this. Tiredness and fatigue, oral thrush, recurring genital or urinary tract infections, digestive issues, sinus infections, skin and nail fungal infections, joint pain, skin issues like rashes, eczema and hives, autoimmune diseases, brain fog, irritability, anxiety, mood swings or depression, vaginal infections, rectal itching or vaginal itching, severe seasonal allergies, strong sugar and refined carbohydrate cravings. Now you may identify with a number of those symptoms, but getting rid of candida overgrowth does not fix gluten intolerance because candida overgrowth would have caused leaky gut. And here are some of the symptoms of leaky gut. Food sensitivities, chronic diarrhea, constipation or bloating, fatigue, headaches, confusion, difficulty concentrating, joint pain or arthritis, nutritional deficiencies, skin rashes and problems such as acne, eczema or rosacea, skin rashes and problems such as acne and e eczema, autoimmune, autoimmune diseases such as arthritis, lupus, celiac disease or Crohn's, thyroid problems. Can you relate to any of these symptoms? Well, it was found in this research paper that leaky gut syndrome is triggered by candida overgrowth. But like candida overgrowth, you can't fix leaky gut alone and expect to cure your gluten intolerance. That's where my secret weapon comes in. Shift number four, use the secret weapon to enjoy gluten again. This is the gluten intolerance cure. And the old way was when someone finds out they're sensitive to gluten, they are told to simply avoid it and they are on their own. But as I've shown you, you can't avoid gluten. And if you're not trying to heal your digestive system, then over time, with repeated exposure to gluten, you will get worse and worse. This is the old stick your head in the sand, not healing type of way to deal with this. But there's a new way. And there's a way that allows yourself to heal so you can tolerate gluten again. And the first step is to reduce candida overgrowth. And then once you have that under control, then you go into a maintenance phase for candida. And this is very, very important. You, you don't reduce candida overgrowth and then say you're done and move on to something else. No, if you do that, you'll never tolerate gluten any better than you do now. You need to reduce candida overgrowth and then have an action plan to maintain that. Then once you've done that, then you turn your attention to fixing your leaky gut. Then you have a program to follow to maintain your candida levels and your leaky gut healing at the same time. So this is very, very important. You can't just do two separate healing protocols to tolerate gluten again. If you do that, you will fail. They cannot be separate. Instead, you need to combine them 
and follow a daily protocol that keeps candida overgrowth under control while healing your leaky gut. And once you're at that stage, then you can introduce back gluten into your diet. But this process of combining a candida overgrowth healing protocol with a leaky gut healing protocol is very complicated. You need to know the right foods to eat along with the right supplements to take and in what order, how much, etc. Also, this is not very safe to do if you don't know the interactions that can occur from natural supplements and any over-the-counter medications that you're taking or any prescription drugs that you're taking. Some people can get very, very sick and even die by taking natural supplements with good intentions but they don't know the interactions those natural supplements can have on them combined with other medications. And it's because of these reasons you need to make the final shift. Shift number five, invest in a healthy expert that knows how to cure gluten intolerance. Don't try and cure yourself of gluten intolerance because if you just focus on reducing candida overgrowth and then focus on fixing your leaky gut, you'll fail and in the process you may make things worse. I know because I tried that in the beginning of learning this. Instead, you need to combine the two protocols and to do that is very complicated. But I've figured it out and can now tolerate gluten again like I used to and I want to help you do the same. So today I promise to show you how you can heal yourself so that you can tolerate gluten again. I promise to show you why you can't tolerate gluten now when you could before and what to do so you don't make the same mistakes that caused this problem in the first place. And I've shown you the two main things causing you not to tolerate gluten now and I've shown you how eating gluten free might be causing you more problems than good. And I've shown you how you can't avoid gluten so you need to set about fixing the problem so you can tolerate it. So what you need to do to tolerate gluten again. 1. Focus on healing yourself. Don't just try and avoid gluten. 2. Gluten is not the problem. It's a highlighter that there's a problem with your digestive system. 3. Take ownership. You caused this but you can fix it. 4. Use the secret weapon. Combine a candida overgrowth healing protocol with a leaky gut healing protocol. Combine those two. And five, invest in a health expert that knows how to do that. These five shifts alone will help you to tolerate gluten much better than you are now and get your health back. So now you have a choice. You can take the information I've given you and forget all about it. You can keep on being worried about what you're going to eat. You can keep on being worried about going out to eat. You can keep on being given a hard time for being a picky eater. You can keep having to be asked if you're celiac or gluten free and is that a choice. You can keep trying to avoid gluten even though I've shown you that is impossible. Or if you want to start healing yourself so you can tolerate gluten again, so you can eat without fear, so you can eat with friends and family without being seen as a difficult one, so you can eat food without the fear that you're going to get sick afterwards. If you want to eat a balanced, healthy diet so you can give yourself the best chance of living a long and healthy life, then here's what I have for you. Now you can purchase the exact plan I used to cure myself of gluten intolerance by combining a candida healing protocol and a leaky gut healing protocol. But here's the catch. This is not for everyone. This is who this is for. You must have the financial resources to buy good quality food. Without this, you simply will not cure your gluten intolerance. You must have the financial resources to buy supplements to help yourself heal. And you must be totally committed to doing what is necessary to heal yourself so you can tolerate gluten again. If that's you, then read the message I have for you below and purchase my Enjoy Gluten Again program for a very reasonable price. And start to heal yourself of gluten intolerance and get your life back.
Now, it's been great sharing this information with you, but I just want to share one other thing with you. About 10 years ago, before I accidentally discovered I was intolerant to gluten, I was so, so tired all the time, and it got so bad, I couldn't walk our dog around the neighborhood where we were living. My doctor performed test after test and could not find anything wrong, so I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. That period of my life was horrible, but it set me on the course of looking for natural solutions to our health problems, and it's culminated to this time right now. And I know the problems with gluten sensitivity. I've been where you are. I'm a certified nutritionist and a herbalist, and I've beaten gluten intolerance and I fully believe that you can too so order my program and let's get to work in helping you get your life back I look forward with speaking with you real soon